My friends, every single day, someone comes to me and tells me that they have been unsubscribed from my channel without their knowledge. Please make certain that you are still subscribed, and if you have not subscribed, please do so in our ongoing fight to stop corporations from destroying our myths. We need your help. Thank you. Doctor Who was utterly destroyed earlier this year when Chris Chibnall not only discarded every meaningful shred of Doctor Who canon, but turned the Time Lords into child-murdering thieves, the Doctor into a woman, and the First Doctor into a woman of color, all moves designed to put the patriarchy in its place, virtue signals so loudly it could be seen by visually impaired SJW aliens in space, and punish fans for the unforgivable crime of loving Doctor Who for over 50 years. You'd think, after all that, subjecting fans not only to the spectacle of the Doctor being repeatedly murdered as a child, but the spectacle of Jodie Whittaker running around with her fucking mouth hanging open like a catfish on an invisible hook for two years. You'd think Chris Chibnall and the BBC would give it a rest and say, hey, job well done. The destruction is complete. Well, you'd be wrong because the destruction of canon, the abominable retconning, and the shaming and alienation of longtime fans is continuing hard as that is to believe. As those of you who still care about Doctor Who, after all the shame and disgrace, no doubt know, there have been these global rewatches of past installments of Doctor Who over the past few weeks, organized by Emily Cook of Doctor Who magazine in an attempt to comfort fans in isolation and, I suppose, in an attempt to reunify the fandom by reminding them of better days back when the Doctor wasn't a female and the Time Lords weren't child murderers. These rewatches have been extremely successful, even bringing uh, Russell T. Davies and Moffat back onto Twitter. And then this past Friday, they aired Human Nature and the Family of Blood by Paul Cornell, which is not only a fantastic two-parter, but one of my favorite Doctor stories of all time. Cornell was on board, taking part with the screening with a live tweet along, all well and good, eh? Well, not so much as it turned out. Because half the audience was excluded from this global watching experience, Cornell under, undermined this latest effort to unite fans and ease the suffering of people in isolation because Cornell is a supporter of the current Chibnall canon canceling regime. And as fans tried to join in on the fun, they discovered, a lot of them, that Cornell had blocked a hell of a lot of Who fans on Twitter, many without their knowledge or even any history of interacting with him. It turns out this asshole who pretends to care about who and about fans vets his followers. And if he doesn't like the sound of your bio or the cut of your jib or how you feel about Chibnall's perversion of Doctor Who, well, tough shit, laddie, you're blocked. And so it came to pass the people who were enjoying rewatching the episodes and tried to join the fun on Twitter clicked on uh, the hashtag uh, only, only to see this, folks. Let me see if I can pull this up for you guys. You're blocked. <laughs> You're blocked, Gary. That's mm -hmm. what people who signed on to go ahead and participate in this global rewatch of these episodes uh, with Paul Cornell uh, live tweeting uh, along with it. Uh, they were excluded. They were cast out. Now, what do you think of that? What do I think of that? I think Paul Cornell did us a favor. Thank you very much, Paul. You're not going to remember that I'm the bloke who talked to you on two separate occasions at two separate Comic Cons for lengthy periods of time because nobody was lining up to have you sign their books. Ooh. I was the only one there, and I spent ex huge amounts of money on signed books by you, sketch covers that I will no longer do. So thank you. Thank you for saving me the time and the money, and thank you for reinvigorating Hashtag RIP Doctor Who, Paul. Uh, it, 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 these things, these rewatches are great. And I am all for them. And it proves that there is still an audience out there hungry for good Doctor Who. And it proves that they have outright rejected the new regime and new Doctor Who. Because those ratings, 
You can't hide from those ratings. Nothing's going to come back. People are not going to come back to the show. It's just going to get worse. Corporate woke co culture is dead. It died March 16th and it's not coming back. It ain't coming back, man. And look at this. Look at this. This is what they were confronted with. Uh, this is what he tweeted out initially. I really want tonight's event to be about all of us, the whole community. So I want to rope in fan creators, retweet as much as I can, encompass rather than broadcast, hashtag doctor of mine. To which people were like, uh, I particularly enjoyed seeing all the people excitedly joining in the live tweet, followed by a sudden moment of, oh, Paul's blocked me. I've never even interacted with him. How do you think that made people feel on this wonderful global rebroadcast, this fucking rewatch, this uh, kumbaya moment for all fans to come back together? I think I think that would hurt. Adding insult to injury, don't you? It's not very kumbaya. No, it's not. I find it very un-kumbaya. It is extremely un-kumbaya. Look at this. A very rude man. I unfollowed him before I could have the honor of being blocked. I am proudly blocked, despite never having interacted with him. I'm blocked. <laughs> it doesn't save you from it. These, I mean, this, this is this is fucking unbelievable. I'm on his blocked list, says Who FX. It's a badge of honor. I've blocked him too across all accounts. Uh, Alan McWan, I have literally no idea why, but he also blocked me at some point. I've barely ever even interacted with him and didn't even realize he blocked me until someone quoted him and I couldn't see it. Isn't that just special? It is. Uh, and so, so it's, it, it's, it, this is the fruit. It's come to fruition. What the BBC wanted. They didn't want us as fans anymore. It's not a show for anybody uh with common sense anybody who thinks uh oh, it doesn't matter left or right that's immaterial you are on board or you're not you have no right as a fan to criticize doctor who anymore so we're just going to keep you out and you know what walk away at this point do you want to keep watching it's the 577th doctor interacting with whoever <laughs> it's meaningless and now they're running a disinformation campaign out there. Uh, well, it's it's counter information about, oh, canon doesn't really matter. I know mm. a lot of us had predicted what their responses were going to be. They were going yep. to be, you are all right. That didn't work. Uh, they're going to be that you're a small, angry part of fandom. Well, I guess that's not true because the numbers went down. And then they were going to say canon doesn't matter. What's canon? It's whatever we make up. And quite frankly, Paul Cornell wrote, he did write the target novel that these episodes were based on that had the seventh doctor in it at the time. So, I mean, he is the creator of this story and he has every right to do it, but the only money that this guy makes, and it's probably not very much is through Titan comics, writing uh, the doctor who comics, which were pretty good. I supported for a long time, but I don't think a lot of us are anymore. I don't think a lot of us are going to be buying comic books from titan anymore or listening to big finish adventures anymore or purchasing very expensive action figures at big chief studios which is sad because i have friends in these places but i can't right. support this and if i even if i buy anything even if it's a 10th doctor something or other it supports this and I, yeah we reject it no, I can't. I can't support this. In fact, if you would allow me for a moment, indulge my uh, my anger. I want to have a, a little bit of a rant about this because there was more to the story than this. But let me, if I may, sir, do uh, it. I, I, I'm going to do it because you look at this shit right here. Once again, we see the absolute contempt bordering on hatred these vandals masquerading as creators have for Doctor Who, its history, and its fans. They posture about inclusivity, about unity, about virtue. And then this contemptible hack who sets himself up as representing Doctor Who in an official capacity on a global event has the gall in a time of isolation and despair to further isolate fans, many of whom had no interaction with him at all prior to this by blocking them for participating in what was supposed to be a global event of fan unity. Cornell? You want to block people from your personal Twitter because they say things you don't agree with or that hurted your widow feelings, you little wuss, that's fine. But when you do an event like this and people who have never wronged you find themselves excluded, that's scummy. You're going to host something like that? 
Make a new account that everyone can join in on. The idea is to let fans band together with an ex shared experience, not to learn they've been further alienated and discarded for not towing the party line, especially when the party is rotten and corrupt to the point where vast numbers of fans can no longer even stomach watching Doctor Who. But you know the worst part. Cornell did something even worse, duplicating the destruction Chibnall inflicted on Doctor Who canon in microcosm by cannibalizing and destroying his own work. That's right. Cornell wrote an epilogue to Family of Blood, where the so-called 13th Doctor lets the girl out of the mirror as a tacit judgment against Tennant's Doctor and a statement that the previous male doctors were evil. This pathetic piece of garbage groveling before Chibnall and the woke wankers at the BBC actually retconned his own fucking work to send a message out that men are bad, that Jodie Whittaker's doctor is the perfection of the doctor, the ultimate doctor, the one true and right doctor. This was one of my all-time favorite episodes of the modern incarnation of Doctor Who, a melancholy and poetic couple of episodes that dared to show the doctor's darker side. It made him all the more enigmatic, all the more mysterious, and just a wee bit frightening. All adjectives that rightly should apply to an alien being who has lived for over a thousand years, and it makes me furious that this ass-kissing lackey has trashed all of that mystery and poetry and awe just to send a goddamn virtue signal that men are bad and women are good and Whitaker is the bestest ever. Our own starry-eyed girl wrote to me about this disgusting display of hostility to canon and contempt for fans. It was Starry who alerted me initially to this outrage and incidentally ruined my whole day, but never mind, that's not her fault. And I've been fuming about it all day. As you might imagine, she was extremely upset by all of this. I hereby quote her with her kind permission. Her reaction was this, fuck you, Cornell, you absolute hypocrite and chibnall shill. I looked up to this man. I loved his work. He helped to keep Doctor Who alive in the 90s and aughts through his books. Human Nature was one of them. It was actually a seventh Doctor novel, and he reworked it for Tenet. He also wrote the wonderful Eccleston story, Father's Day. I went to see him last year at a party. I had my photo taken with him, and he has the nerve to say, Doctor Who doesn't have a canon? As a writer? Fuck off. If he really believes that, he's a fool. If he's just saying it to be relevant, which I personally think he is, then he's a disingenuous hypocrite. Either way, I've lost my respect for him. I mean, it is just it is just incredible. Look at this. This is something he tweeted out. This is what she was referring to. I think the idea that Doctor Who has a canon was already lying in bits at the side of the road. But I hope tonight will help to wash the concept gently into the gutter. Hashtag Doctor of mine. You piece of shit. This retcon that you've inflicted on your own work, like most retcons, completely nullifies the story. Daughter of mine isn't even sorry for her vicious crimes. Jodie Whittaker pretending to be the doctor releases her knowing that she's unrepentant. She's still a murderer and says she will murder again. But that means nothing to Whittaker. She just releases this evil monster just to show how merciful she is. Quoting the amazing starry-eyed girl again, quote, so basically, she's virtue signaling to her own bloody self to show how amazing she is. The bestest doctor ever. The most bloody and competent doctor ever. So now this murderer is free to roam around murdering again. Well done, 13. Slow clap. I mean, <laughs> oh, for it, it seems to me that Cornell is so desperate for a job with Chibnall. He's even willing to defile his own work in one of my favorite episodes of Doctor Who in the process. That's what these cultural vandals do. That's their modus operandi to take art and turn it into propaganda. They view our dreams, our myths, and our legends as mere vehicles to subvert and pervert and convert to transport their political messages and pathetic attempts to make themselves seem like virtuous crusaders when really they're just cultural termites, gnawing obvious messages into the fine old oak panels of our culture, weakening the very structure of our civilization, all to preach to choirs long since dead and preach to. They change nothing for the better. They simply ruin things that are, things that were, so nothing beautiful.
can be that way again. So I, I am just beside myself with disgust, Gary. And, uh, you know, starry eyed girl asked a question at the end of this. How can a Doctor Who writer and a Doctor Who fan support what Chibnall has done? And the answer is they can't. No true fan could support this defiling of Doctor Who. And when even the past creators line up to devour their own dreams and along with them a little piece of their souls, it's time to move on. There's nothing to see here anymore, folks. Just the broken stuff that dreams are made of. Ha, 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 ha,